Hi, it's Tara from Jula Bay Design Studio. Today I wanna to make sure you're in the room by yourself. No little ears are listening, no kids, no little people. Okay, so this is your chance. One, two, three. Um, today we're gonna to talk about the download that you're gonna get when you buy the editable Santa Claus driver's license. So you're gonna get this compressed file and you're gonna to wanna to unzip it. I'm on Windows, so I unzip by right clicking. Inside of here, you're going to get a lot of files. So I do include a tutorial on how you can use these to do sublimation. I also include fully editable. I include print ready. So this particular file is print ready. If you just want to print, you can open this one, print it, or you can open the one with an outline. Because the outside edge is so faint on these, if you're going to print and cut it manually, I suggest you use the outline version. You're going to just get this light gray on the outside. You do want that to help you see where the lines are for cutting because it is very light and hard to see once it's printed. So everything is filled in for you. Uh, the same with the back. So this is imperial, so the back will match. Doesn't matter. Just choose outline or no outline. If you just want to add your own picture in, then you can choose a outline or no outline and choose this particular file and you're going to add your own photo in. I can show you how to do that uh, in another link where I show how you can edit my elf file by adding your own photos in here. It will be the exact same. So I'll include that link in the description of this video. Uh, the same for your bonus Mrs. Claus. This is going to be exactly the same as how you add the photo to the elf license. So I'm not going to go over that right now. So you will get to do this as metric as well. If you want a metric version, just print out this particular metric version, version one. So nothing new here. That's pretty easy. It's divided by metric and imperial. So now we're going to go to the fully editable. So the editable one you can use if you're a Photoshop user, you can use here. I do include the font that you will have to um, upload or sorry, in, install onto your computer. So install that font, open the Photoshop file, and do your editing. I'm not doing a Photoshop tutorial because if you're using Photoshop, you know what you're doing. So here we go, whoops, Canva. This is gonna be what the rest of you who don't edit normally are gonna use. So you're gonna open up this file and you're gonna have two links. One's gonna have no outline and one will have an outline. So it's the same as what I just showed you. So I'm just gonna click on it, and once you get here, you're going to get this pop-up showing you, and you're going to choose Use Template. You're gonna to need to have a Canva account. If you don't have one, it's free, and you're gonna to wanna to upload it, or you're gonna to wanna to create it as you upload this. So the first thing that you're gonna notice in here is that all of these um, information here is editable. So I changed that to the Canadian spelling of license with a C. I can change my uh, driver's license number. I can say there's there's uh, corrective lenses. I can type this to none. I can do what I want in there. I can change the address. I can change it to say St. Nick if I want. Uh, birthday you can set one. Uh, mail you can change the eye color, the hair color, the height, so for if I change that to metric, I'm gonna want this to be 170 centimeters, and maybe I want it to be 120 kilograms. Um, that's how you change this to metric version, by the way, in here, so you would just change that. I'll, I'll go to adding the pictures in a second. The back, same thing. The only thing you're gonna want is right here, I say check the spelling of license here. So since I changed this to be metric, I do wanna change that to license. Um, for Canadian version. You can change all of the conditions. You can also change the number down here. You can move them if you want it to be up here instead. You can move it. Um, and the same here, Mrs. Claus. And so now we have the Mrs. Claus one. I can edit all the same things that I did. So now I'm just gonna show you how to add your Santa photo. So if you wanna upload your own photo, you go to uploads, you upload it from your computer and then you're gonna add it in. Since I'm not gonna do that right now, I'm just gonna search for Santa here. And I'm gonna use this Santa photo, it's free. And I'm gonna, I trim that by just pulling on this little line here, you just trim your photo. 
I'm going to move it over here and size it close enough to the size of this window. Now I'm going to control C, control V for copy paste, and I'm making a small one to go down in this area. So once I have it lined up, I'm going to right click and say send to back. That now has put that picture behind the opaque area there. And right here, right click, send to back. There we go, I have my license. So now you can download this as a PNG. If you do, make sure you do a bigger size than the small one because you're not gonna wanna stretch it out to be bigger. You're gonna wanna shrink it down to be whatever size you want. So I'm gonna download it as a bigger, I'm gonna download it as like at least a two and I'm gonna download. There we go, my Santa's downloading. I'm gonna show it in my folder and now I'm gonna extract it all out. And now I have this Santa license that we just edited down here. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to print it in Free Silhouette Studio. So uh, you're gonna to wanna to size it. So you need to know what size you want this to be. I'm gonna open up the back and the Santa by holding the control um, key down and it will bring both of them into my silhouette in two different files. So I want them to print in the same file. So I just went into this one, I selected it, did control X to cut, came back to this one, control V to paste. So see this one is the ones without the outline and it's pretty tricky to see the edges of them so I prefer to actually use the other version but to resize these now I can click on it and I can just go up here if I lock this I'm, it's not going to change my perspective so I clicked on it and then I'm going to say I want it to be three inches wide I'm going to click on this one make sure it's locked say three inches wide and now I have my designs here ready to print you just print it out silhouettes free for everyone to use it's pretty simple uh, that's why I chose to show you how to use it in this particular one. Thank you.